Hey there, this is Nathan with nonstopawesomeness.me. Hope you are doing really well. I am, uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm, an, I'm on a train uh, right now heading uh, from New York to Providence, Rhode Island. And uh, this, is, this is kind of what I thought would happen on these train rides, is meeting people and, and just uh, uh, getting into really great conversations. And what's doubly awesome about this is uh, the gentleman I'm sitting with right now is someone I saw perform last night uh, in a string quartet. Really outstanding music. Uh, I will link to what they're up to. Uh, but I would like to introduce all of you to uh, Pierre, and we'll get to know a little bit about him. So, uh, hello, Pierre. How are you doing? Hey there. I'm fine. How are you doing, too? Uh, good. So, um, Pierre, uh, we are uh, we are headed to Providence uh, now. Why? Uh, why are you on this train? What are you What are you up to these days? Well, you know, we we are on a tour in the U.S. Um, like we do now every year. Uh, this is almost a three weeks tour, and we we go everywhere. And uh, many cities. You know, we, we were in New York yesterday. Yep. Uh, New York City, and uh, then we are going to Providence, like you, and. Uh, now, what, what's the uh, name of your quartet? Eben. So, in French, it's quatuor Eben. Eben means ebony, like the, the wood, you know. Oh, okay. Like, so, uh, we chose that name because, first, we didn't want to to keep the image, uh, to, to, uh, to have this name of a painter or a musician or, uh, you know, we didn't want a, a stick here. <laughs> and uh, also because we love, not only, we. Our job is to play classical music most of the time. Right. But actually, we play also jazz. We love every style of music, like rock music, hard rock, and funk, soul, yeah, every kind of music. And uh, this ebony wood reminded us to the uh, Afro-American jazz musician, of course, and um, this exotism in, in that we we wanted to keep. As, uh, open to, to every style of music. Well, yeah, I um, I saw you guys playing stuff from Miles Davis and the Beatles. Yeah. Uh, and and what, were, what were some of the other composers from last night? Uh, uh, Piazzolla, Debussy, uh -huh. a French composer. We played so a little bit classical music. Uh, we played what else? Uh, Misil Twist from the, the, the main theme of Pulp Fiction. All oh, right. Yeah. And so, because your your uh, your latest album is called Fiction, right? Fiction, yes. yeah. Fiction, because you know, I, I know that in English, fiction means uh, a novel, uh, but also it can mean I, I think in English it can mean something which is exact, not really, uh, not real. And uh, for us to make this album was a dream. It was a fantasy. It was. Uh, uh, we are classical musicians, and suddenly we asked our label. Uh, is it possible to, you know, record all our encores because we do that for an encore, uh, as an encores of our classical concerts? Is it possible to, to record, you know, uh, we want to make an arrangement of one Beatles song, or one rock music and uh, jazz, and with drum player, with many singers? We, we would like to do a crazy album, and, and they said yes, of course. Oh, cool. So we. We call that fiction because for us a string quartet, you know, classical players recording um, this kind of music and arranging, we, because we arranged all the pieces, uh, it, was, it was not real. So what is, um, what is, a, what is something else coming up that uh, you're really excited about or, or something on the horizon or something uh, in the present? No, we, we are very excited about this. About this life uh, we have, of course, it's hard. It's, we worked like crazy people <laughs> since we are 20 years old, uh, together, and it's we are like four brothers. We we are not we are colleagues, we are friends, but first we are brothers. It's family, you know. And um, we we like this life, of course. Like I said, it's hard, but we have many projects. We would like to. To, to not only to play string instruments, but also to play guitar, drum, bass, uh, uh, I mean a keyboard, and uh, we are doing a little of that, but uh, we would like to m make a concert where we could m mix everything, like starting with classical music, with like Mozart or Haydn, and going to, to play uh, 
with good sound and drum and everything. Cool. And but in one concert, really, to, yeah. to make a journey through the styles and. This is one of our dreams. And, and, and of course, you, you were telling me about a film that uh, will one day be made. This is my dream. Yes. To, uh, to, I, I would love to. I'm not a filmmaker. I know it's it's crazy, but uh, <laughs> I, I would like to, to make a movie where the music would be the center, the 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 the, 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 the main character of mm. the movie. It would be music, and there would be. I would like to express. Through music, uh, uh, through pictures, I would like to express music again more than what I, because what I feel in some tunes of, uh, of like, like the Prince or, or the Radiohead or the, the Beatles, or, I, I love so much some songs that I would like to express it again more through pictures and cool and and make a story with that. I don't know, it's crazy. Well, I, I think some people would have thought it was crazy for you to be doing what you're doing, and, and you've done it. So, uh, film, film might not be too far off. Yeah. Um, really quickly, what is uh, one thing that most people might not know about you, or don't know about you? I think they don't know that my grandfather was a farmer. <laughs> he had sheep. Uh, sheep, we say? Oh, sheep. Sheep. Oh, sheep. Oh, sheep. Sheep. That's right, there's, yeah. no, there's no S. There's no ending S. Sheep. Uh, I mean, um, when I was young, I was a farmer, really. Yeah. I was planting vegetables and, and vegetables in, in the, the garden uh, in the massive central, you know, center of France. Yeah. A wonderful part in mountains, and, and um, I was really doing everything that can do a, a farmer. And uh, I love that, and I miss that now. Now that I'm living in Paris. I miss nature, and uh, sometimes I'm just when I'm fed up with this job and this life and uh, this electric uh, society. Uh, I would like to to go in the mountain and just to keep animals in the field. Well, uh, so it sounds like filmmaking and uh, sheep are in your future. <laughs> in some order. Well, cool. Uh, Pierre, thank you so much for your time. Nice to meet really you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Thank you. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'll leave you with a, a shot outside the window to prove that we are, in fact, moving if the swaying didn't, uh, didn't prove it. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, until next time.